adventure. Pepper and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> what game should we play today? Let's play adventures. Outside our clubhouse is a forest full of yes, dangerous yes, yes. wild yes, animals. Yes, yes. I'll email the numbers over later when I've got access to the... The trip. wild animals are yes, outside. Yes, yes. As long as we stay inside, we are safe. I love this game. <laughs> the spreadsheet numbers were copy and pasted from documents. Daddy! Daddy! Uh, I'll call you back. Someone's asking me something. You have to be a wild animal. Oh, oh, I think I can manage that. You are in a forest. OK, I'll be a wild pig. <laughs> I'm a dangerous wild pig living in the forest. And we are safe in our little house. <laughs> we need more wild animals. Mummy! Yes, Mandy? You have to be a scary animal. Um, OK. I will be a wild mouse. Squeak, squeak. <gasps> Mummy, that's not even a little bit scary. Sorry. Can you growl? Growl? Well, I could have a go, but I'm not sure. Ah! Oh, my goodness, Mummy Polar Bear. You gave me a shock. Grrr. Polar bears like growling. Wow, they are good. My mummies are best at growling. <laughs> Lucky we're safe inside. <laughs> you can't get us. Our house is too strong. What's your house made of? Straw, sticks or brick? Um, it's made of... plastic? Jolly good. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. The clubhouse is very strong. Impressive. Yes, Daddy. So you will have to stay outside with the other wild animals. Let's make the game more scary. Yes! We can pretend there's a jungle outside with real jungle animals. We need a jungle animal! Like a tiger! Ooh, I can sound like a tiger. Is that any good? No. Well, how about a lion? Stop, Mummy! My friends are here! I can roar. That's really good. Oh, oh, I am a bit of an expert. No one can do a lion better than me. Roar. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, everyone. Uh, hello, Mr. Lion. Hello. And here is Mrs. Crocodile. Uh, we've had a problem at the zoo. Uh, don't panic, but some animals have escaped. <laughs> oh. We heard lots of strange noises coming from here and wondered if the zoo animals had passed this way. Uh, those noises were just us. We were playing at being wild animals. I see. <laughs> we'll be on our way then. Um, these escaped animals you're looking for, what are they? Do they have big teeth? No, they've got beaks. Do they roar? No, they make a sound like... Penguins! It is the penguins from the zoo. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> uh, there you are, you cheeky penguins. <laughs> they're always running away. They think having me and Mrs. Crocodile chase after them is a fun game. Hello, penguins. Would you like to see our clubhouse? Here's the slide. And here is our swing. Penguins, do you like our clubhouse? The penguins love the clubhouse. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Dr. Hamsters taught us. It is a school day. Children, Dr. Hamster has come to talk to us today. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dr. Hamster. Dr. Hamster is a vet. 
vet. Who knows what a vet does? <laughs> Vets help sick pets get better. That's right. And I brought some of my pets to show you. Ooh. This is Binky, the budgie. Hello, Binky. Well, can I stroke Binky? Yes, very gently. He feels fluffy. Those are his feathers. They help him to fly. <laughs> Flying is how Binky gets his exercise. Can you tell me what else Binky needs to stay fit and healthy? He needs to eat. Yes. He needs to drink. That's right. He needs to breathe a bit. Very good. He needs to sleep. Excellent. <sighs> Sorry, Madam Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. Yes, Madam Gazelle. I have got a pet here who loves sleeping. It's a tortoise. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. Tiddles has slept all through the winter. Ooh. Why has he got that shell thing on his back? That shell is his house. It's where he hides if he gets scared. Would you like to stroke him? Yes, please. <coughs> Don't be scared, Tiddles. How old is he? Tiddles is 33. That's as old as my mum. But tortoises can live for a hundred years. <coughs> That's as old as my grandpa. Why is he so slow? He has to carry his house on his back. Uh, Dr Hamster, I think Tiddles is escaping. He can't go far. Because he is so slow. I've got someone else to show you here. Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur. <coughs> oh, it is a dinosaur. Ooh. She's not a dinosaur. This is Lulu, the lizard. Hello, Lulu. She's scaly, like a dragon. Can she breathe fire? No, but she has a very long tongue. Wow. Does she sleep through the winter, like Tiddles? No. Oh, where is Tiddles? Tiddles? Oh, dear. Tiddles the tortoise has run away. Don't worry, Dr. Hamster. We'll find Tiddles. Is he in the music room? Tiddles is not in the music room. Is he in the playhouse? Tiddles is not in the playhouse. Is he hiding by the coats? Tiddles is not hiding by the coats. <laughs> I can smell Tiddles this way. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Tiddles is up a tree. Oh, I better call for help. This is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Ah, fire, fire! Fire station, where's the fire? My Tiddles is up a tree. What, again? Emergency, emergency, tortoise up a tree. I don't know why you like climbing trees so much. You're a tortoise. Stand back! Tiddles! Come on, Tiddles! Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. And my job is looking after pets. Where are Binky and Lulu? No, I don't know. Oh, here they are. Safe and sound. <laughs> 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 Peppa's family are on holiday in their camper van. Good morning, my little piggies. Good, Good morning, morning, Daddy Pig. I love camping. Since we're in the countryside, I thought we could spend the day looking at nature. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Let's watch a nature programme. One of the wonders of nature, birds. How lovely. Shush, shush, little birdie. We can't hear our TV. Oh, Daddy Pig, there's no point being on a camping holiday and just watching TV. We can do that at home. 
good thinking, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. <laughs> There's Tree World. What's Tree World? Tree World is a big forest full of trees. It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. Duckland! <laughs> Let's go to Duckland! <laughs> Peppa and George love ducks. How do we get to Duckland? The camper van can guide us. Hello. Where are we going today? Duckland, please. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. We're, We're going, going to, to Duckland duck in the camper van. Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> the ducks always turn up when... when... we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. <laughs> Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> Oh, all right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All their brothers and sisters are here. And here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. Oh, oh that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. Ho, ho. You're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. It is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes, drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes, it's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> oh, our camper van has turned into a boat. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig. Uh, ahoy there. Beep, beep. Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home. home. <laughs> Thank you for a lovely holiday, Mrs. Campervan. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice going on holiday. But it's nicer to be back in our own little house. Good night, my little piggies. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa at the playground. Grandpa Pig is looking after Pepper and George today. Now, Grandpa, I will tell you how everything works. <laughs> this is the slide. Whee! You climb up here and you slide down there. Whee! And everyone takes it in turns. Ho, ho, ho. I know what a slide is, Peppa. I used to play on one myself when I was a little piggy. Did you have swings too in the olden days? Ho, ho. We had swings and climbing frames and roundabouts. Oh. But my favourite was the slide. It is my favourite too. <laughs> Whee! Everyone takes it in turns to have a go on the slide. Whee! <laughs> Naughty Richard, you know you have to wait your turn. Richard Rabbit finds it hard to wait his turn. Oh, dear. It's not easy being small, is it, Richard? 
<laughs> because Richard is little, I don't think he should have to wait. I wouldn't change the rules if I were you, Grandpa Pig. Nonsense. The children understand, don't you? <laughs> Wee! But Grandpa, George is little and he has to wait his turn. <laughs> yes, George is little, <laughs> so he shouldn't have to wait either. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh dear, Wee! Richard and George are taking all the turns on the slide. Grandpa, when do we get to go on the slide? Don't worry, Peppa. They won't be on it for long. <sighs> I'm bored of waiting. Me too. Let's play on the swing. <laughs> Here is Pedro Pony on the swing. Nay. <laughs> Pedro, can I have a go now? I just want to swing a bit more. But you've been on the swing for ages. Grandpa Pig, can you push me a little bit, please? I think it is someone else's turn now, Pedro. But I have to go home soon. Oh, oh I see. That's different. Let me push you, then. But, Grandpa! <laughs> <laughs> I'm bored of waiting. Me too. And me. <laughs> Let's play on the roundabout. <laughs> Everyone wants to get on the roundabout. <laughs> too many children on the roundabout. Everybody off. <gasps> but, Grandpa Pig, I was actually here first. Ah, then you can get back on the roundabout. I need to get on too. Oh, why is that, Rebecca? Um, because it's my birthday soon. Oh, uh, OK. <laughs> and me! Uh, all right. <laughs> is everybody ready? Yes! yes. <laughs> Stop! There are no boys on the roundabout. Um, <laughs> now is everybody ready? Wearing glasses. Can I go on, please? The children are making up their own rules. I need to get them because I like carrots. <laughs> now, are you all ready to go? No, I have to get on because I can do this. <laughs> Here is Mummy Pig. How are you getting on, Grandpa Pig? I I'm confused. These playground rules are too complicated. There is only one rule, Grandpa Pig, and that is... everyone waits their turn. Whee! <laughs> what? Even the little ones? Even the little ones. What about the very old ones, like Grandpa? Even the very old ones, like Grandpa. At the playground, everyone has their turn. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> the blackberry bush. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today, I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, hi, hi Granny Pig. Pig! We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Mm. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa. 
But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I've brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a black berry bush and she'll be there for a hundred years like sleeping beauty <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss <laughs> <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure i wish my mummy would have adventures like that um can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, Mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. My prince. My princess. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly and she was going, Ah! Help me, help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Peppa. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble then? Well, mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Fox's shop. Mummy and Daddy Pig are wrapping up a present. A present? Is it for me or George? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's not for you or George. Oh, is it a toy? No, it's a glass vase. That's a bit of a boring present. Ho, ho, ho. It's a present for grown-ups. We've bought this for Granny and Grandpa Pig. It's their wedding anniversary. Can me and George buy them a present too? That's very sweet of you, Peppa. But presents can cost a lot of money. We've got money in our piggy bank. Peppa and George have one penny and two buttons to spend. OK, let's go shopping. This is Mr Fox's shop. Hello there. Can I help you? It's Granny and Grandpa Pig's wedding anniversary. They're both very old and need a present. My shop has everything. Oh, I'm sure you'll find something you like. A big teddy. I love it. This can be the present. Peppa, the present is not for you. It's for Granny and Grandpa. Oh, yes. Oh, look. Bunny teeth. They're wind-up joke teeth. Very popular. <laughs> Can they be the present for Granny and Grandpa? I think Granny and Grandpa have all the teeth they need, Pepper. Do your Granny and Grandpa like gardening and digging? Yes. Then why not get them a bucket and spade each? Buy one, get one free. They've already got spades and buckets and forks and everything. Oh, dear. I know. Grandpa likes sailing his boat. Say no more. 
I have everything a sailor could ever wish for. Do you have pirate's treasure? Uh, everything except pirate's treasure. Oh. Do Granny and Grandpa like antiques? What does antique mean? Antique means old and rare. Usually, yes. But my antiques are brand new. That chair comes in a set of 12. Nice, isn't it? Is it made of oak? Yes, it's made of plastic oak. Is it comfortable? You mustn't sit on it. Antique chairs are not for sitting on. So, what do you do with them? You look at them. That's not much fun, even for a grown-up. Buying a present for Granny and Grandpa is hard work. I don't understand. My shop sells everything. There must be something you like. There is. I like this teddy. And I think Granny and Grandpa would like it too. Oh, oh, let's buy the teddy then. A very good choice. Who's going to pay? One penny and two buttons. Here's your change. One button. Thank you, Mr Fox. Pepper and her family have come to give Granny and Grandpa Pig their presents. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, my little ones. Happy anniversary. Oh, another glass vase. It's a grown-up present. That's why it's a bit boring. It's lovely. We'll put it with our other glass vases. George and me bought you a present too. I hope you like it. A teddy bear for Grandpa and me. Thank you, Pepper and George. He's very good at cuddling. Does he have a name? Um, he's called Eddie the Teddy. And what does Eddie like to eat? Chocolate and broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best present we've ever had. Oh, but if Eddie is going to live here, he'll need children to play with. We can play with him, Granny. <laughs> and every time you visit us, he'll be here for you to play with. Oh, goody. <laughs> 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 Daddy Pig is hard at work in the study. Daddy Pig, this study is a complete mess. It's not that bad. There are lots of cobwebs. I love cobwebs. They give the room character. Cobwebs mean spiders, and I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. Mr. Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr. Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. I wonder where Mr. Skinny Legs is. Ah! Oh, ho! Oh. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now Mr Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was for Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr. Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr. Skinny Legs. A bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> what is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh! He's very busy. Yes. 
It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. <coughs> bye bye, Mr. Skinny Legs. It is bedtime. I liked watching Mr. Skinny Legs make his web today. And tomorrow, he'll make another web. Really? Yes. Mr. Skinny Legs makes a new web every day. Where will the new web be, Daddy? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Good night. Night, night. <laughs> it is morning. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. I don't want to be late. I have an important meeting at the office. Daddy, you work very hard. Yes, I do. But not as hard as Mr Skinny Legs. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everyone. See you tonight. Stop, Daddy. What is it? You cannot drive the car today. Why not? Look! Mr Skinny Legs has built a web, joining the car to the house. <laughs> Daddy, you said you must never, ever break a web. Did I? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. If you move the car, you will break the web. But how am I going to get to work? Don't worry, Daddy. You can borrow my little bicycle. Here you are. Thank you, Peppa. Daddy Pig is riding Peppa's little bicycle. Have a nice ride to work. I will, Peppa. Bye. Bye. Whew. Daddy Pig works very hard. <sighs> but Mr Skinny Legs works even harder. <laughs> <laughs>